Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today we're going to look at the Xbox Elite 2 controller natively working with the Steam Deck. A recent update has brought this thing complete full circle, and uh, it now works natively with no weird drivers. Just make sure you turn all these profiles off. Okay, when you pair it up, it's still gonna look like an Xbox wireless controller. When you pair it up, that's okay, because when you go over to the actual controller area, it properly doesn't even announce itself as an Xbox controller. It identifies as an Elite 2 controller, and that's awesome. And of course, you can jump in and um, do a test, and you can see that it looks normal. It's showing you the rear paddles and everything on there. But what about Rumble? Look, it works. Oh my God, it works, it works. This is so awesome. Rumble was not possible without having it wired or using the special drivers before. So this is a big win for Elite 2 controller owners. Let's take a look at those rear paddles. Look here, we're using this layout. I've already enabled the rear buttons, but look, the glyphs are here. Woohoo! you actually have real glyphs for the paddles on the back. This is so awesome, I'm all excited. Now, typically I always uh, map my rear paddles to my bumpers and to my click sticks. It just seems to be the right way to go here. Um, but if you're using an actual profile, one of those three lights being on, you can only assign those rear paddles to an existing button. That's no good. All right, so let's check this out. We're gonna take it into Overwatch and look at this. They're definitely uh, mapped appropriately. The two uh, bumpers are now mapped to the top rear paddles. And I have A assigned to one of the paddles on the back, which showed me jumping. So you can definitely see that it's working without having any sort of profiling turned on. And that's great because a lot of people that want an Elite 2 controller, they don't have a PC to configure this with. So this is really, really neat. The rumble's perfect. I love it. Okay, but can you assign the rear paddles to something not already on the controller? Well, this would be a great thing, right? Because that would give people four more buttons effectively on the controller. Let's see if we can assign it to the enter key. The enter key on Overwatch will bring up the chat window that you can chat with your teammates. You're still not gonna be chatting with this controller, but you know, it's a, a good test. Look at that, there it is. I've assigned that paddle to hit enter and it brings up the chat window, which is kind of nice to be able to review if you saw something scroll by and you missed it. And we'll uh, do a quick test here. We'll jump into the practice range. We'll make sure that that still works, not just on the uh, main menu, but there we go. Let's check it out. That's working. And let's see that rear paddle. There it is. It definitely brought it up. This is really great. This is, uh, I've, I've had this Elite 2 controller and I haven't been able to really maximize its usage without installing crazy drivers or wiring it up or doing weird things. So it's really neat that this is available. It really makes the Elite 2 controller uh, useful for the Steam Deck. I'm a big fan. All right, listen, of course, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I appreciate you watching. I'm Shane Armand Rowe. Until next time, take care, everybody.